Megan. Hi from like a block away. You're only like a block away. Hi. Oh, it's so exciting. You're only a block away, but I haven't seen you very much except when I'm at your work and you're working then. So it's not like we have quality like chit chatting or arts and craftsing or like sex talking time. Um, so we need to let's have a sleepover. Let's have a sleepover soon. Uh, so college. Oh, I'll show you my dorm room. I don't, you've seen it, but I'm going to show it anyway because, because I mean, some things have changed since that very first day, right? Okay. So let's, um, here, I'll, I can't flip the camera around. Shit. Okay. I'll just see if I can do. This is my swirly Christmas light wall. Apparently it's a fire hazard and I need to take my Christmas lights down, which I'm so bummed about. I'm so sad because look how pretty they are. I love them. And they're, it's the perfect amount of light. It's right there. I love it. And I have to take it down. But they're allowed up in the month of December? What the fuck is that? What is the logic behind that? Oh, Christmas lights are a fire hazard, but not when it's actually Christmas. Ugh. It's a great face. Take a screenshot of that, Megan. Take a screenshot of that and post it all over campus. I'm going to make the face again so you can screenshot it. Ready? Put some sort of caption on it, like, I don't know, something motivational, like, get your work done, or be on time to class, or eat a lot of kale. I've been eating kale because it's good for you. It's so gross. I um, anyway, I'm not going to show you my roommate's side of the room because I don't know if she wants that on the internet, but let's see if I can. Here's my desk area. Look how cluttered it is. So much stuff. Uh, let's see if we can angle it. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, I can't even see where I'm going, but do you see my phone? I got a phone. I got a landline installed. Um, that's pretty cool. I don't have the number yet. I'm going to get it in the next couple days. I'll give it to you and anyone else who might ever want to use it to call me or something. Um, this is my pound of gummy candy. I went to the, uh, in a moment of weakness, I went to the marketplace. I've been trying to eat health, like, a lot healthier because at home my mom didn't really keep a lot of great health options. Uh, for food and also it's a lot easier to eat healthy if you don't actually have to cook because um, honestly if I'm at home I'll like eat a waffle when I'm hungry because it's easy I can just pop it in the toaster but when I'm here I'm like look at this fucking salad bar it's all there and I don't even have to clean up after myself so that's how I ended up eating all this kale drowning it in fat-free ranch to uh try to make it taste better, but it really just tasted like kale with fat, fat-free fat ranch on it. And it was a weird texture. Ugh. But I need to eat kale because kale's good for you. And I might make kale chips. Uh, this is my bulletin board, if you can see it. I have my sheet music up there. My St. K's acceptance letter is right in the middle. My graduation cap is right there. All the important little things I need are right there. And uh, I just want to note that my side of the room isn't a disaster yet. So, good for me. Alright, so, um, because right now my, you know, workload is pretty light, <laughs> and I know, at, like, tomorrow that's gonna stop. Like, I had one page of reading for my TRW class today. <gasps> Excuse me. But, um, I looked ahead on the syllabus, and I know for classical mythology tomorrow I'm gonna have at least three readings from two separate books. So I'm gonna, I mean, I like classical mythology, I'm looking forward to the readings, but I just, I'm not gonna have much spare time for wasting. So I tried to go to the pool, but it was closed. Apparently it's only open, like, first thing in the morning, and then on Mondays and Fridays, like, in the evening. But I was really sad. And so I came back and started watching YouTube videos, and I realized, I don't know if I've said this before, but, um... There are a lot of great resources out there. Um, you already know about Lacey Green. I don't know if you know about other channels she does. She did one called A Naked Notion with Planned Parenthood. That one is really helpful. That really helped me decide to get my IUD, actually, because they did a whole series on birth control methods. And um, it really... It has, like, people 
uh, give reviews of it and stuff. It's it's a nice it's a nice little channel. You should look it up. And then uh, Sexplanations with Dr. Lindsay Doe. I'm sure you've heard of this one. Uh, it's run by or it's founded by Hank Green and the Vlog Brothers. And it's kind of a little different from Lacey Green. It's less of like a oh look at the adorable, somewhat nerdy, super enthusiastic girl. It's more from a you know um educate well that's education too but it's more of a I don't know how to put it. she's a professional like she's a sexologist like she sits in a room full of books and talks about sex but along with books she has like wooden dildos that probably cost a lot of money and shit so I was just watching one of the newer uh, videos from her and thought I'd recommend it to you, put it on this channel and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, this is really just me saying hi. I had a video that I was working on where I just kind of bitched about work. Uh, I I mean, I put music to it and there was photos and shit. But at the same time, I'm like contemplating whether I should upload it or not because it's kind of negative. I mean, I just kind of whine a lot in it. Also, I say the name of my work, even though I was trying to avoid it. I say it by accident a couple times, so I was, um, uh, so I'm afraid I might get in trouble if I do. But it feels like a long time since I've uploaded a video, so here's one. Uh, alright, hopefully I'll see you around soon. I've seen Catherine, this girl I know from Main Street, around, but I haven't seen you around, which makes me really sad. Um, but yeah. I'll see you.